Now, something that is a little bit inconvenient for the user here is every time I want to go back to the home page, I actually have to hit the back button, right? I can't, there's no link at the top to go back to the home page. So, and what if I'm on the contact page and I want to go to the about page, right? That'd be nice to have that all up there, right? So let's create links on all the other pages to link to all the other pages, okay? So on the index page, it's great. We have a link to the about page and we have a link to the contact page, okay? Now, on the about page, we would want to link to the other two, right? So just above about, let's put anchor tag and we'll link to the home page. And again, the href in this case is going to be index.html. And then we'll do the same thing for the contact page. Okay. And we'll do the same thing here on the contact page. We will link to the index.html and call that home. And then we'll do the same thing for the about page. Okay, whoops, about. Now, as you saw, I was typing there, I wasn't doing my classic trick of opening and closing. I recommend that you still kind of keep in that mindset. Anytime you open a tag, you close it right away. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Okay, so let's go back to the home page. And now when we click on the about page, you'll see the about page now has a home and a contact. This is great. So now I can go back home or I can go directly to the contact page. Now the contact page, you'll see here, there is only the about and home, so I can go directly to the about and I can navigate all around my different pages, okay? Now one last thing that I find a little bit annoying is that when I click on these and I go to the separate page, you know, the links almost like change, right? Because if I'm on the home page and I click about, there's no link for about. Now that makes sense because, you know, why would you link to the about page on the about page? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But what's a little bit confusing for the user is that it's not consistent across every page. So why don't we add all three links to all three pages to keep it consistent even though some of those links would be redundant, right? Like there would be a link to the home page on the home page. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but to keep it consistent at the top so you have a nice uniform experience across the website is a very common thing to do, okay? So let's add the same three links to all three pages, okay? So on the index page, we have the about and the contact, but we don't have the home page. So at the top, let's put the home, okay? So open and close home and then we'll add the attribute for index.html. Again, I know it doesn't seem to make sense because it's on the same page, but it will give it a nice consistent experience. So we have home, about, and contact. On the about page, the only thing we're missing is the about, and let's keep it in the same order so it's consistent, okay? So it's in the second spot here. So about, and then we'll add the attribute, about.html. And then on the contact page, we're just missing the link for the contact. So open, close, contact, href equals contact.html. Okay, make sure they're all saved. Go back to Chrome and refresh. And now you'll see the top of every page looks the exact same, okay? So it almost looks like the top of the page is not changing. It is, I mean, the whole, you're, you're loading a brand new document but the top looks the exact same on every page, so it appears as if it's staying the same. And this is how we do a lot of this kind of um, mimicking of like your inside kind of a, a application, okay? So now that they're all the same, you can click on any one of these links and jump back and forth, okay? A nice consistent experience, okay? But one thing I want you guys to know is that there's nothing right now that's being shared across all these different pages we're just copying and pasting that code on every single page so it looks the same, so it looks like it's staying the same. But when you click on the about page, okay, that whole about page is being loaded into your browser, all right? When you click on the contact page, that whole about page is being loaded into the contact page, all right? So that's how you link to other pages in your website. We'll see you guys in the next episode.